All right, sorry if that sounded a little clickbaity. That was not our last video, but that was the last of Breath Brickyard Bistro because what happens is if you're familiar with this channel, Adam and I like to get together at least once or twice a month. We bulk film a bunch of videos, but lately with my work schedule and Adam's teaching schedule, mainly my work schedule hasn't allowed us to be able to get together. Adam was supposed to come up uh, last week or the weekend before. He couldn't make it. And so today's video, actually happened to be the last video that I filmed in Brett Brickyard Bistro because I have moved. So I guess maybe we'll call this Brett's Backyard Bistro. You like the new digs? We'll see what we can come up with, but the new studio, but we hope you like this video. It is these chicken skewers. So Adam, roll the, the film. He came up to do these viral chicken skewers. Oh, twist my arm to put them on the flat top. But the difference between this and the viral one, they're using the air fryer. I figured, you know what? Let's see how these bad boys taste on the flat top. You want to see how we do these viral chicken skewers? Stick around while I dig in. I can't believe the wall twins. They're right there. That's one one of them that's the other one I'm the other one chicken skewers on the flat top some of our favorite things to do we do kebabs straight skewers but this viral one has me going like yeah I can't wait but before we get to the griddle let's take a look at the groceries well first you can see uh, front and center we've got these chicken tenders when we come around to the side we've got Duke's mayo we've got Parmesan cheese we are using garlic lemon parsley butter for the uh, sauce not pictured is the usual suspects and ranch p and ranch seasoning for the seasoning on this as well so there are all the groceries right there in front of you now the key is to smash them but we don't want to go super super flat like if we're doing chicken parm because we do have skewers that we need to go through them so we don't want them flatter than said skewers garlic cloves crushed and yes you can use as much as you want use a bit of parsley flake for color pizzazz then we're going to use a nice heaping spoonful of parmesan cheese which i will also garnish the top of these after they are done and you'll see this will brush right on beautifully when we're done now brooke uses it as a dip I'm using it as a brush on after flow. And first things first, I'm gonna lay a little bit of oil down. All right, so we got our oil down and then the skewers are going on. Now, because these are so small and thin, these are gonna cook right up. I'm thinking a minute and a half, maybe two minutes per side. They smell so good. Trying to heat up just a scotch. All right, I'm just uh, doing a little uh, stickage test. Absolutely zero sticking whatsoever. You can look at that, getting a nice little crust already. All right, so like I said, this side is cooking faster, so I'm gonna try my best to flip them if they want. They don't wanna seem to go. There we go, all right. That's what I'm talking about. All right. There we go. Good. So now these are getting nice coloring on both sides. So as I turn them, some of them are very cooperative and others are just not. All right, so we flipped them now again. So I'm gonna slowly start putting on this garlic butter Parmesan sauce. Now in the, in the video, Brooke, she actually uses this as a dipping sauce to dip the skewers in. 
we called an audible and decided we're actually gonna use it as a brush on sauce. And we have a nice thing of jasmine rice inside to go with this as a side of a dish. And that, oh, that garlic parm smell is amazing. And we got the Parmesan cheese in here. It's gonna give it a nice melted crust as well. You smell it, Sherry? Wow. I know. All right, these, this chicken is cooking nice and through. Look at this, as I'm getting a flipped over here, look at this nice browning color that we're getting in there. Chicken is not slipping on the skewers as much anymore, so it's much easier to maneuver. And then once I get this last one flipped, we're gonna go ahead and garlic butter the other side, and we'll be good to go. Now we're gonna brush this side, and then give it another minute, and these will be ready to pull. actually works out you know why this is the end all right all I'm gonna do now I'm gonna close the lid for about 30 to 45 seconds we're gonna all right so we're gonna pull them and look at those oh the breath of the, the breath the big push of steam out of here the smell is absolutely amazing so these are ready so I'm gonna go ahead and plate them up in our uh, tray here that's got a nice bed of jasmine rice. All right, well, there they are in all their glory, and I am so excited to take a bite. This smells so good, it's too tempting not to try it right now. So, Sherry, I'm gonna give you a little piece right now. Um, I would give her more, but she's she's a uh, camera uh, filming me right now. So, oh, you already tasted it? <laughs> the look on her face it says it all. So, like we say, it can look amazing. I think it looks amazing, Sherry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like we say, it can smell amazing. Um, we had a neighbor come by and say, it smells so good out here. Uh, can I get a smell yeah? Smell yeah, you can. <laughs> but it doesn't taste amazing. This is all for naught. Cheers, I'll eat to that. Here we go. Whoa, mm-hmm. <gasps> that is one of the best pieces of chicken I've ever sank my teeth into, Sherry. Would you agree? Yes, very good. Very tasty. That is absolutely crazy. Now, one thing that Brooke said, which made me Right, okay, it's gonna be okay, is when she put the mayonnaise all over the chicken, it just helps keep, the, the chicken keeps it, keep it, keep its juiciness, and it, it, so it stays moist, and it is absolutely sink your teeth into it. It almost feels like, the way I would describe it, it almost feels like the chicken crumbled in uh, underneath, the, in my teeth as I was biting through it, because that's how soft and tender it was. The garlic butter, the Parmesan cheese, it is all in there, the slight hint of lemon, I don't know if I get that, but I tell you what, this is now a staple here at the house. We don't even have to do skewers. We can just go ahead and throw it in the pan, come out, throw it on the, on the, on the griddle. But we got another banger, banger for real. All right, so if this gave you an idea, something, something you could do on your griddle, make sure to give this a thumbs up. It's one way in which you can support us. Another way you can support us is buying one of our two cookbooks that are now available on Amazon and everywhere. We've got the Epic Albador Griddle Cookbook and Smashed. All right, but aside to coming out and knocking bangers like this one, the viral chicken skewer, this time not the air fryer, but on the griddle, you've got to try it. Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no matter what. And with that, we bid you adieu, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on!